Good morning, my dear students. Have a nice day. Class third, subject English. Myself, Miss Alima Sheikh. So, students, as you know from previous two lecture, we are studying chapter number thirty-two, the Noble Stack, right? Today. We are going to learn the third part of the story, right, students? So, students, everyone, just open your English Bal Bharti textbook. In that page number sixty-nine, students, page number sixty-nine, I had explained you already, right? And today, we are going to start with the page number seventy-one, because in the page number seventy. There is a picture of the noble stag and the king Brahmadatta, right? So now, students, we will start with the page number seventy-one. Students, as you can see in the previous lecture, I had explained you the two paragraphs, right? And today I am going to start with the third paragraph. Students, before I start the third paragraph, first of all, I am going to explain you in short. the starting two paragraph so that you can understand the story properly right students so let's start with the very first paragraph students again i am repeating already i had explained you the two paragraph of page number 71 but again i am explaining the starting two paragraph so that you can understand the whole story properly Okay, so here the very first paragraph. Upon a hole in the ground that was covered by a rotting tree and filled with slime, from a distance it could smell the dirty water, and so was careful not to run over it. But the king could not sense the pit, and fell right into it. So, students, now this paragraph tells us that the stag came upon a hole. Can you see, students? The stag came upon a hole in the ground that was covered by a rotting tree and filled with slime. So, here, students, as you can see in this pic, the stag came upon a hole in the ground. Students, can you see in the ground? Yes, there is a hole that was covered by a Rotting trees and filled with slime, right? So here, slime means thick and slippery liquid substance. जैसे कि वो जहाँ पर वो खड्डा बना था, ground में देखो खड्डा एक है, उसके ऊपर बहुत सारे leaves, leaves means पत्ते, बहुत सारे घास पुस थे, जिससे वो खड्डा दिखाई नहीं दे रहा था. But वो खड्डे के अंदर क्या था? एक गंदा सा liquid से जैसे होता है ना कीचड़ जिसे हम कीचड़ बोलते हैं, राइट तो वैसा उसमें जमा हुआ था राइट बट द स्टैक कैन स्मेल फ्रॉम अ डिस्टेंस सो स्टूडेंट्स एज इट इज रिटर्न ओवर स्लाइम मीन्स अ थिक एंड स्लिपरी लिक्विड सब्सटेंस एज आई टोल्ड यू राइट स्टूडेंट्स नाउ फ्रॉम अ डिस्टेंस इट कुड स्मेल द डर्टी वॉटर एंड सो वॉज केयरफुल नॉट टू रन ओवर इट जैसे कि ये जो स्टैक था उसको दूर से ही स्मेल आ गया था किसका स्मेल आ गया था वो जो गंदा सा पानी है जो उस खड्डे के अंदर जो गंदा सा पानी जमा हुआ है जिसे हम कीचड़ कहते हैं राइट उसकी स्मेल किसे आ गई थी स्टैक को आ गई थी तो वो स्टैक जब भाग रहा था राइट तो उस... उसने इस चीज का ध्यान रखा था कि वो इस खड्डे के अंदर ना गिरे So here, from a distance, it could smell the dirty water, and so was careful not to run over it. But the king could not sense the pit and fell right into it. So here, students, as the king does not have the sense. So here, students, as I told you, the king could not sense. मीन्स राजा को पता ही नहीं था कि आगे गड्ढा है क्यों क्योंकि राजा को स्मेल ही नहीं आया 
वो गंदे पानी का वो गंदे कीचड़ का उसको स्मेल ही नहीं आया और क्या हो गया एंड फेल राइट इन टू इट मीन्स द किंग फेल इन टू द होल जैसे कि राजा उस गड्ढे के अंदर गिर गया जैसे आप देख सकते हो इन दिस पिक स्टूडेंट्स कैन यू सी येस द किंग वॉज फेल इन टू द पिट पिट मीन्स होल So students we had completed the first paragraph of page number 71 now move to the next paragraph after a while the stag realized that he was not being followed any longer he understood he understood that the king had perhaps fallen into the pit so here students now this tells us tells us that After a while the stag realized that he was not being followed any longer means the stag understood that now no one is following me like that the stag understood jaise ki stag ko pata chal gaya ki abhi mujhe koi piche pakad nahi raha hai mere piche koi bhi nahi hai he understood that the king had perhaps fallen into the pit so here the stag understood that maybe the king fallen into the pit means the king fell into the pit jaise ki stag ko pata chal gaya tha ki shayad raja means king fallen into the pit means wo gadda jo tha uske andar raja shayad gir gaya hoga isliye to wo mujhe follow nahi kar raha hai jis जो दलदल था जिसको मैंने पार किया और मैं भागकर आगे चला गया शायद वो राजा उस दलदल के अंदर गिर गया होगा मीन्स वो खड्डे के अंदर गिर गया होगा लाइक दैट द स्टैग वॉज थिंकिंग सो यज यू कैन सी द लाइन ही अंडरस्टूड दैट द किंग हैड पर हैप्स फॉलन इन टू द पिट सो यूडेंट्स नाउ द नेक्स्ट पार्ट means the next stanza so here students the third stanza of page number 71 so the stag went back to the pit and saw the king struggling for his life the stag felt very sorry for the king he decided to save the king's life even though the king was following him with the intention to kill him so now students this tells us tells us that so the stag went back to the pit and saw the king struggling for his life so here students stag went return back to the pit side where the pit is there there the stag went return back and saw that the king was struggling for his life जैसे कि स्टैग टर्न हो गया और वो भागते हुए रिटर्न बैक पिट के पास चला गया पिट मीन्स जहाँ पे खड्डा था वहाँ पर वो चला गया और उसने देखा कि जो राजा है वो स्ट्रगल कर रहा है अपनी लाइफ के लिए मीन्स वो अपनी लाइफ के लिए मीन्स जैसे वो खड्डे में गिर गया है तो वो अपनी जान बचा रहा है ऊपर आने का ट्राई कर रहा है बट इट इज़ नॉट पॉसिबल नॉ लेट्स सी struggling for his life means fight to save one's life as i told you king was struggling for his life the stag felt very sorry for the king so here the stag felt very sorry for the king now this line tells us that the stag was very kind and gentle jaise ki ye line mein likha hai कि जो स्टैग है उसे बहुत अफसोस हो रहा था और उसके उसे राजा के लिए बहुत सॉरी फील हो रहा था क्यों क्योंकि उसे रियलाइज हुआ कि राजा मेरे पीछे भाग रहा था इसीलिए वो गड्ढे में गिर गया फॉर दैट रीज़न द स्टैग फेल्ट वेरी सॉरी फॉर द किंग सो यह फेल्ट वेरी सॉरी मीन्स टू फील बैड एंड पीटी He decided to save the king's life even though the king was following him with the intentions to kill him. 
so here the stag was decided that he is going to save the king's life anyhow as he know that king was following him with the intentions to kill him so students yahan par jaise ki stag keh raha hai ki main kaise bhi karke raja ki life ko bacha lunga aur mujhe pata hai ki raja mere piche bhag raha tha kyunki wo mujhe marna chahta tha but i am going to save the life of the king like that the stag was saying to us jaise ki stag keh raha hai ki mujhe pata hai raja mujhe marne wala tha phir bhi main raja ki life bachaunga so here this lines tells us that the stag was very kind and gentle right so here students the next paragraph page number 71 in that the fourth paragraph the stag told the king not to worry and to be brave for a longer for a while longer he then caught a huge rock with his hind legs and lowered himself into the pit the king caught hold of his neck and the stag climbed it out into the level ground and carried the king to safety so here students this paragraph tells us that so now the stag told the king not to worry and to be brave for while longer so here the stag told to the king that don't worry i'm going to save you right like that stag said to the king and to be brave for a while longer jaise ki yahan par stag ne king se kaha main aapko bacha lunga bas aap dheeraj rakho aur brave rakho means strong raho aap to itne strong ho to main aapko bacha lunga he then caught a huge rock with his hind legs and lowered himself into the pit so here the stag caught a huge rock with his hind legs and lowered himself into the pit so here students hind legs means two legs at the back of animal's body so students by observing the pig as you can see right the stag was carrying a big rock with his हैंड लेग्स जैसे कि स्टैग ने राजा से कहा कि धीरज रखो मैं आपको बचा लूँगा राइट तो उसने क्या किया एक बहुत बड़ा सा रॉक उठाया मीन्स पत्थर और वो भी किससे जैसे आप जानते हो स्टूडेंट्स एनिमल्स को कितने पैर होते हैं चार राइट आगे दो होते हैं और पीछे दो तो जो पीछे की जो दो लेग्स है उसने उससे रॉक को पकड़ लिया मीन्स बड़े से पत्थर को पकड़ लिया जो पीछे के दो लेग होते हैं उसे हम कहते हैं हैंड लेग्स और जो आगे के दो लेग होते हैं हम उसे कहते हैं फोर लेग्स राइट एंड लोअर्ड हिमसेल्फ इन टू द पिट सो जैसे कि स्टैग ने अपना जो नेक है वो उसने वो पिट के अंदर जस्ट डाला मीन्स उसने अपने सर को झुकाया नाउ द नेक्स्ट द किंग कॉट होल्ड of his neck and the stag climbed out onto the level ground and carried the king to safety so here jaise aap dekh sakte ho students in this pic can you observe yes the king caught hold of his neck jaise ki raja ne stag ke neck ko neck means gardan ko pakad liya aur wo upar just aa gaya right and the stag climbed out on to the level ground and carried the king to safety jaise ki usne raja ko upar khinch liya raja ne kya pakda tha yes stag ke neck ko neck means gale ko usne pakda aur wo upar aa gaya kaun raja so students everyone understood till here now the next so here carried to safety means to bring in a safe place 
So students, now the last paragraph. The king thanks the noble stag again and again and asked him to return with him to Banaras where he could have anything and everything he wanted. But the stag did not want anything in return for his help. He just requested the king to rule wisely and well and be kind to animals. Then the noble stag disappeared into the forest. King Brahmadatta then waved not to be hurt or hurt any animal. So students, now this stanza tells us that the king thanks to the noble stag again and again and asked him to return him to Banaras. Jaisi ki yaha par raja king Brahmadatta stag ko bar bar shukriya keh raha tha. Kyu? Kyunki stag ne raja ki life bachai. और राजा ने स्टैक को कहा कि तुम मेरे साथ बनारस चलो। Where he could have anything and everything he wanted। तो जैसे कि राजा ने स्टैक से कहा कि तुम मेरे साथ बनारस चलो, वहाँ पे मैं तुझे सब कुछ दूँगा जो तुम्हें चाहिए। But the stag did not want anything in return for his help। But here the stag did not want anything। in return for his help. जैसे कि stack को कुछ भी नहीं चाहिए था. Right? In return for his help. He just requested the king to rule wisely and well and be kind to animals. So here, to rule wisely means to rule truly. So here students, as the stack requested to the king to rule wisely, Truly and well to be kind to animals. Right? So here, then the noble stag disappeared into the forest. Jesse ke stag ne raja se kaha means request kiya ke aap sare animals ke saath achche se rahiye, daya dikhaiye un par. Right? Or achche se rule kariye means truly. Wisely means truly. Or uske baad wo vahaan se disappear ho gaya. Means the stag run away into the forest. Jaisi ke waha par stag jungle ke andar fir bhaag gaya. Disappear means gaib ho gaya. Right? King Brahma Datta then waved not to hunt or hurt any animals. So here when the King Brahma Datta realized that the hunting is a not good thing and he decided means he is promised to to his courtiers that from today onwards no one is going to hunt or hurt any animal. जैसे के ब्रह्मदत्ता ने प्रॉमिस किया था कि अभी से हम कोई भी एनिमल्स को मारेंगे या उसे चोट नहीं पहुंचाएंगे। ऐसे किसने कहा? किंग ने कहा। So students here, waved means promised, right? Or swear. So students, I hope everyone understood the whole lesson. Right students? So now students, everyone just open your English notebook. First of all, I am going to give you the new words that you have to write down in your English notebook one time. And then afterward, I am going to give you the notes of this lesson. The notes you have to write down in your combined book number 4. Right students? So first of all, everyone... Just open your English notebook. Now I am going to give you the new words. Right students? Students, first of all put today's date. Write the topic and then afterwards start writing the new words. Okay? So, so students, can you see the new words? Yes? These new words you have to write down one time in your English notebook. Students, after watching this video... I am going to send you notes that you have to write down in your combined book number 4. Students, I hope everyone understood the whole lesson, right? So students, if you have any doubt regarding the homework parts, you can call me or WhatsApp me on my personal number. So students, thank you for watching the video.